103. A system with an initial cost of $90,000 has an operating cost of $250 an hour and is operated 16 hours a day for 300 days per year. After 10 years, the system has a salvage value of 10 grand. Assuming the interest rate is constant at 10%, the total annualized cost over the 10 year life is most nearly what? So to get an idea of the different cash flows, I'm gonna draw a cash flow table. You don't have to do this if you see the solution faster than I do, but I tend to like to draw something to frame out problems and then go from there. So if you have the time, I suggest drawing it out. So we have this 90K upfront cost, which occurs in year zero. And then every year, starting in year one, you have some annualized cost due to operational cost, which we can calculate based on stuff we're given, but that's another cost. So that's gonna happen every single year. And we don't know how much that's gonna be yet, but we'll work that out. And then lastly, there's some salvage cost at the very end, which is 10 grand. And since that's a positive cash flow, since they're salvaging that value, that's actually an upward arrow in year 10. And it's not a huge amount, so that's worth 10K. And now let's work out in years 1 through 10 what that annual operating cost is. So they're assuming that it's 250 an hour, 16 hours a day, 300 days a year. And apparently that's not changing over time, so they're just keeping a fixed value there. So 250 an hour, 16 hours a day, 300 days a year should give us dollars per year. And that works out to 12,000. So each one of these 10 annual cash flows is 12,000. And now their question is, what's the annualized cost over the 10 year life? What they're really asking is, if you take the overall situation, the fact that there's an upfront cost and there's a salvage value and there's this annual operating cost, and you just work it out so that it appears as an annual cash flow out, in other words, they're borrowing all the money for the whole venture at the beginning and then paying it back over time to smooth out their cash flow so they don't have this big upfront cost and then they're gonna pay that money back at a 10% interest rate. So the 12,000 is already annualized. So there's nothing we really have to do with that. It's the upfront cost and the salvage value that need to be changed into an annualized number. And for that, we can use the cash flow factors in the appendix. So that's app 74B, cash flow equivalent factors. And let's start with the upfront cost. I'm going to call that A1. So A1 is a present value, and we want to change it to an annualized value. So we're going to use the cash flow factor A over P. And the interest rate is 10%, and the number of periods is 10 years. So this is the value that has to be looked up in the table. And I look that up, I get 0.1627. So let's plug in the present value is 90,000. And the cash flow factor to change present value into an annualized value over 10 years at a 10% interest rate from the table is 0.1627. Make sure you're verifying this for yourself and not just taking my word for it. And then that works out to $14,643 per year. So that's what you really have to imagine is that this 90K spread out over 10 years is 14.6. Now, of course, 14.6 times 10 is gonna be a much larger number, but that's because you're paying it back with interest over time. So that should roughly make sense. Then you have the operational cost. We talked about how to calculate that. Let's call that A2, just so we can keep everything organized. So A2 is $12,000 per year, and that's constant. And then A3 is gonna be the salvage value, but that's in the future. So the formula we want to use for that is we're going to start with a future value and we want to use the cash flow factor A given F. And again, that's at 10% over a 10 year period. So this cash flow factor accounts for the fact that 10 grand in 10 years is not worth 10 grand today. It's worth much less and it has to be discounted back. But we're not calculating the present value of that 10K. We're calculating the annualized value every year for 10 years of that 10K. So let's plug that in. And also, up until this point, I've been treating the costs as positive, which is arbitrary, but this is a salvage value, so it's money we're getting back. I'm gonna treat that as negative. That might be a little counterintuitive. I could have done it the other way and said the, the money we're getting back is positive and the cash flow that's out is negative, but we're focused on the costs, so I decided to treat that as positive. $10,000 in magnitude, and that cash flow factor from the table is 0 0.0627, and that's negative, so we'll get negative $627 per year.
per year. So again, if you want to use our sense check, multiply that by 10 years, that's about six grand, which is less than the 10 grand because 10 grand in the future is not worth as much as it would be sooner. Okay, and now that we have all three, the upfront cost, the annualized operational cost, and the salvage value all in an annualized form, we can add them together directly. So we get the 12K plus the 14 minus the 627 is $26,016 per year. And that's very close to answer choice D.